Oh yeah, good old coffee. Cool, calm, and collected. All right, guys, panic buying is spreading all over America right now. Article for you guys, U.S. Rice ban triggers panic buy in all states. Let me get my article here so I can follow along and read off with you guys. The Indian government has imposed a ban on the export of non-Bosmet white rice. The ban may affect around 80% of India's rice export which reduces rice prices in India but the notification from DGFT has left a negative impact on global prices and the US seeing a panic buy situation already guys I covered this last night uh, when I got the information emailed to me I did see that Canadian prepper did cover this uh, like in few hours before I did so I cannot take credit for the story I had a lot of people say hey this is the first I've heard of it Canadian prepper actually covered it before me so I'm sure we get everything cleared on that uh, he actually broke the news on this way before me now guys um, I'm gonna talk about what we're seeing in these stores they're selling one person one bag formula uh, they're also many of the stores are doing a 20 pound limit of rice for a person also stores increased the price between 32 and 47 dollars which was not more than $22 earlier. $22 earlier, I'm guessing, is a 40 pound bag. Um, <clears throat> there's a photo here, it looks like Costco or something. I'm not really sure where that is. Anyway guys, it's in California, it is Costco. There's a photo right there. People loading as much rice as possible. Panic buying, you guys see all that rice in that, that cart right there? This is why we're preppers. Five pounds of rice. Mylar it up. Nice little brick action going on. You know, I have people say, uh, you know, I can't get my rice and beans to brick up. Am I doing it wrong? I'm not saying you're doing it wrong. My method I use, I squeeze out most of the air that's actually in it. And when the O2 absorber is in there before I seal it. And that's how I get this brick effect. It doesn't mean that you're storing it wrong. It's just I store it differently. So, guys, this is why we stock up so we don't have to run to the store did i run to the store today no no i didn't you know why so i got about 700 pounds worth of rice put back that's a lot of damn rice this is rice that we cycle through our stock it's rotational stock we're not hoarders we use our rice we just have a lot of it but we use it this stuff right here my lard up o2 is over put in a air controlled temperature controlled environment 20 to 25 years shelf life yeah making sure i can feed my family now do i just feed them rice no of course not but that's just a staple it's one of the staples of prepping you can use it in just about anything and we do and here's another article for you guys from frontline india rice export ban triggering panic buying in the u.s uh this was july 22 looks like uh 214. The ban on exports of non -bas basmat rice, I know I'm mispronouncing that, has triggered panic buying among the Indian diaspora and other Asian communities across the U.S. You know, when we talk about prepping, guys, we don't panic buy. We go and do we buy a lot of stuff? Well, some of us do. Others are not in the position where they can. They buy, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there at a time. Or they do that so people don't see that they're buying a lot of food and stuff all in one shot. I buy it all as much as I can every time I go. And I'm not worried about people seeing me with a whole bunch of stuff because come first of the month, when people get their EBT cards, they're doing the exact same thing. So, and I shop at Walmart. It's one of the Redneck Riviera places to ever go shop at. Yeah. Uh, right fast. Mason Town in Ohio State enforced rationing by asking customers to restrict their purchase to one 20 pound bag of ordinary white rice per head, costing $24 for a 20 pound bag. I was paying $11. The last bit of rice I purchased was $11 and change from my local Walmart for a 20 pound bag. That's over double than what I was paying. $24? Yeah, 
A buyer in Texas said he bought a 20 pound bag of white rice at $34. That's a 300% markup. Is that right? You're paying three times as much. That'd be 300%, right? My math could be wrong. Yeah. $34. $24 for 20 pounds of rice. Now, this goes on beyond this as far as just rice, ladies and gentlemen. Please, I hope that you have been prepping. I've been on here four years. I know I am still a small channel. we got over 60,000 community members here. Unfortunately, on average, only 1.2 thousand to 4 thousand people actually watch my videos. And then at that, most of them click off within the first three minutes. How do I know this? My analytics. Yeah, so people really don't want to hear what I'm saying. Well, I don't like saying I told you so. I don't like saying that. Do I feel, do I want to say that sometimes? Yeah, absolutely. I just wish that people would be buckling down. 20 pound bag of rice at the time, $11 and change. That is 100 and some cups or 100 and some servings of rice. I believe that was the number in my head. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of calories. Mix it up with beans, put it up and we put it in everything. Anyway, my brain's not firing correctly today. Uh, it's just one of those things. It's one of those things I have to deal with on a daily basis. I have my own injuries. Anyway, guys, uh, this is not good. We see the reaction of news comes out and everybody scatters. You guys remember the toilet paper issue? Yeah. You know, toilet paper was so, so much a scarcity. I was actually able to trade a package of toilet paper there's four rolls in a package for a whole case of MREs during the shutdown a whole case you go online right now a case of MREs come in a pack what is it 12 in a case you're looking at 120 bucks for four rolls of toilet paper but that was the currency exchange I traded toilet paper for MREs. I couldn't pass it up. I mean, I have food, but I couldn't pass up that deal. So yeah, absolutely. I know, you piece of crap CFP. I believe in capitalism and uh, striking when the iron is hot. So guys, with this, if you are not prepared, you need to be getting prepared. I'm not saying run to the store and go buy rice at $34. 20 pounds that is astronomical but we expected it we've talked about this many times when there is a shortage of food it will be priced out of everybody's range I'm sorry can you afford to go to the store right now and go buy 20 pounds of rice for at $34 some people say yes no problem a lot of people's like dude I can't even put gas in my car right now let alone go buy 20 pound bag of rice at $34 you need to start somewhere if you can't start with rice right now due to this start elsewhere canned goods dry goods we've done videos so many times on rice stockpiling rice showing you how to seal it up in mylar store it correctly put it in five gallon bucket store it put it in whatever you have to to store these things up I know other youtubers put them in uh, soda bottles whatever whatever works for you I don't care People like to comment, well, so-and-so, such-and-such channel said to do it this way. I don't care what another channel is telling you how to do something. I show you what we do here. I'm not going to get in a debate and fight over who's correct and who's wrong. As far as I'm concerned, as long as you got food in your house, that's what I'm concerned about. I don't give a crap if you're putting it in a soda bottle or Mylar. I don't care, as long as you're able to feed your kids. Sorry, I get heated sometimes. I just get frustrated. I get frustrated is what it is. I'll be up here trying to get people prepared for it. And if it doesn't happen next week, I get to read emails sent to my account. to get to read the comments. Nothing happened. You fear monger and fear porn SOB. We're prepping for when things do happen. 
I don't make predictions on stuff because I never know what's going to happen. I'm looking at it until I get and I make a video on it. A lot of people jump into the preparedness wagon. They are panic buyers. That's what they are. Panic buyers. You freak out because of this article right now. Is it a bad thing? Yeah. Rice is in everything. Rice starch is in everything. I was talking to my wife late last night um, after I did my video last night about uh, the shortage. And she's like, you do know rice starch is in just about all makeup products, right? You know, she's a girl. I'm like, no, I didn't know that. But actually, rice starch is actually in a lot of things that's not even food related. Yeah, it's a binding agent. A lot of the foods that we get has these different aspects from rice and stuff in those foods. That way, when you have something like rice gone or pulled out because it's just way too high priced and people just cannot get hold of it, it affects other foods that use that. Now, the companies could try to manufacture the same type of food without the rice. Odds are it's in there for a reason. And then again, maybe their company go belly up because now it just ain't going to work. Someone else mentioned about dog food has a lot of rice. Yeah, dog food does. Pet food. Sure does. Anyway, guys, keep on prepping. If you can't start prepping... You know what? I don't want to, I don't want to hear it. You need to start prepping if you're not prepping. That's what you need to do. Even $5 a week. If you don't have $5 this week, do you have a way of storing water right now for your house? What happens when they shut the power down? What happens if a natural disaster strikes and takes out your power? You're not getting water. That is a step into prepping without costing you anything. But you need to start working on it. Guys, we have playlists. Please, definitely check it out. Should be a pop-up there for you. Just go down into the channel itself. We have playlists on weekly preps. We go into the store almost every week. Not all the time. Almost every week. We go to the store. We show you what we're getting. Gives you ideas on what to do. Anyway, guys. Be safe out there. Keep prepping. Panic buys. That just shows as soon as there is a chink, a, a broken spot in that supply chain, panic buys. People lose their shit and run. This is why we prep so we don't have to. All right, guys. Speak to you later.